I graduated from the software engineering cohort. My story pretty much began in New Orleans. I was, I guess, partially <laughs> raised there, but born. Um, I came to Georgia, I like to say fortunately and unfortunately because of Hurricane Katrina. Um, my family and I, we came here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and that's absolutely it. Not even an extra pair of socks. I guess kind of going from that, I did end up starting college. I got my associate's degree in business and economics, got inducted into the Honor Society and went into the healthcare field. So I started as an EMT, but I still had this undying love for programming and coding, but I just did not believe I had what it took to do that. But my mom knew I really loved it, how much I wanted to do it. She heard about Perscolis in one of her tech groups and she sent me the link. So I did apply, but I still doubted myself. I took the pseudocode exam and I think we all can see the result of that. I did graduate with one of the highest grades in the cohort. <laughs> I will not lie and say it was easy, but it was all worth it. I will say those 40 extra hours a week got me about a $20,000 increase in my salary. Since graduating from Perth Scholars, I have actually been featured in three different magazines for my journey into the tech field. I have now been nominated for a 40 under 40 um, <laughs> award. Thank you. Uh, I completed my first software engineering internship with a fintech company, and now I do work as an engineer with Seaboard, which is a subsidiary of Roper Technologies. Still in the Honor Society, and oh, I've done a lot, so I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> in the end, I will say, Perscolis has completely changed my entire life. I mean, this little eight-year-old who was at, at one point homeless, now breaking barriers in the tech industry, it's something that's unbelievable to me. I'm now holding a 3.6 GPA as a computer science and math major. Um, so thank you. So in the end, I have to give all the grace to Perscolis for this because I did not have the confidence in myself. I didn't think I could do this. I didn't even think it was possible for someone that looked like me to get into it. So in the future, I do also wanna help with initiatives to get minorities and people with a background like myself into tech. And I think the first way to do that is by making sure people know about Perscolis and having those opportunities. So thank you.